The early part of the hurricane season is typically quiet in the tropical Atlantic, but this outbreak of dust along with unfavorable upper-level winds is likely to put a lead on any significant tropical development in the short term. This is so as the Saharan air layer generally hampers tropical cyclone development. The densest plume began to emerge off Western Africa last weekend and has now traveled over 3,000 miles across the Atlantic Ocean to the Eastern Caribbean Sea, covering an area larger than the United States and Western Europe. Forecaster Andre Charles at the Meteorological Office at the Maurice Bishop International Airport speaks of what can be expected in the coming days. We expect that the Sahara dust we, that comes from across the Atlantic should decrease. This should decrease to some level because of the increase in rainfall activities and cloudiness. However, these dust are always present in the atmosphere. Um, the bulk of it has passed. We are expecting improvement hopefully within the next 24 hours. But conditions should remain as they are during the course of the day. People with respiratory conditions may have experienced discomfort during the period. However, forecaster Charles says there is a positive side to the Saharan dust. Despite the negative effect that this can have, there is also a positive effect. Because if once we we see the rainfall begin to increase as the dust subsides, we expect that once these dust fall to the surface, it can add nutrients to the soil in, in the agricultural industry. Um, so we hopefully in some way or the other farmers can benefit from the Sahara dust. But the negative impact uh, appears to be of greater concern because it affects our daily lives as we go through, go through the normal day of activities. Given the Saharan layer is most common during hurricane season, research has been done on how it can affect the development of tropical storms and hurricanes. According to National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, some of the potential impacts of tropical development caused by the SAL include the dry air can create dung drafts or sinking air around the tropical storms and hurricanes, which may result in the weakening of tropical cyclones. Strong winds associated with the SAL can contribute to increased vertical wind shear, the change in wind speed with height, which makes the environment hostile for tropical cyclone development. And the role dust plays in tropical storm and hurricanes intensity is not known. However, some research say it might impact cloud formation. Christina John, 